These are the three key things Chris Evans did to get jacked for Captain America. He stopped training like a bro and started training like an athlete. When Chris Evans started working with celebrity personal trainer Simon Watterson, he was only training his vanity muscles, his biceps, his chest, his abs, typical bro stuff. But that kind of training is not going to cut it if you want to play a super serum powered beast like Captain America. Here's what Simon, Chris's trainer himself, had to say about it. He was quite athletic, but as he said to me, he typically did the college workout. So he was a bit imbalanced. He just trained his biceps and his chest and his abs, and that was it. He could do a lot of pushing exercises, but not a lot of pulling exercises. So he didn't deadlift, he didn't do many pull-ups, he didn't have very overdeveloped legs. So to sum it up, Chris was unfortunately skipping leg day. Come on, man, not cool. So Simon put together a new training plan for Chris that would not only rebalance Chris's body, but also give him the athleticism he needed to kick some Nazi ass. Simon said they obviously wanted him to look amazing, but ultimately, it was about performance rather than just looking good. He has to be able to sprint, throw a shield, and jump over a wall. They want the aesthetics to come as more of a byproduct of Chris being an athlete. If you're liking the video and you want me to do one on Chris Hemsworth next and his prep for Thor, like the video and comment God of Thunder down below. So what did this super soldier program actually look like? Well, the meat and potatoes of the program were heavy weight, low rep sets of the classic compound lifts. Movements like the barbell squat, deadlift, bench press, and overhead press. On each of their five to six training days each week, Simon and Chris would take two different muscle groups and over the course of their two hour training session, they would absolutely destroy them. First with the classic compound lifts and then with supplementary accessory movements like weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, chest flies, and all other kind of bodybuilding fare. If you're liking the sound of this, you gotta stick around till the end of the video where I'll be sharing with you a full workout program that I've designed based off the same methodology that got Chris jacked for Captain America. But of course, regular strength training alone isn't enough for Cap. So Simon also added in plenty of gymnastics and explosive plyometric exercises into the mix as well. The goal during their workouts was always to keep Chris's heart rate elevated to help maintain his general fitness, which was especially useful during filming when Chris had long days of running around and fighting certain Hydra assassins. And that leads us straight into the second key thing that Chris did. He upped his calories and he dropped the cardio. So Chris is what you would call a hard gainer. Naturally, he's very tall and lean, so he's a really hard time putting on weight and getting it to stick. And of course, there was a lot of weight that he was going to have to make stick to become the captain. So he did the only thing that is guaranteed to make you put on weight. He ate, and he ate a lot. In the early stages of his Captain America training, he didn't even track. He just had a rule. If he wasn't eating and didn't have anything to eat, he would go find something to eat, and then he would eat it. So he was pretty well eating nonstop. But what was he eating? Well, unfortunately for Chris, cheeseburgers and pizza were off the menu. And his diet mostly consisted of lean proteins, fruits, veggies, healthy fats, and supplements. But more on that last one later. On screen right now is a sample day of what he would eat during his training. So they kept the diet super clean so that Chris would put on as little fat as possible while he bulked up. Calories during this time were precious and Chris couldn't afford to throw any out the window. So that meant cutting out any cardio specific workouts. Instead, Chris would mix in a few sprints here and there as a good way of maintaining his cardiovascular endurance without burning too many calories. And of course, not all those calories came from food and that leads us right into our third key step. He took a variety of questionable supplements, but I'll tell you what's never a questionable decision and that's checking out Super X. They make the world's best heroic workout apparel with hundreds of thousands of customers across the globe. They have designs based off all your favorite heroes so you can suit up and crush your workout in style. Their products are insanely high quality with super stretch fabric so you can move around and work out uninhibited. And to make sure that you're looking your best, their super suits are designed to hug your muscles and enhance the look of your physique. And if you weren't already sold, use my promo code DEMERCE at checkout for 20% off your first order. It's a great way to support the channel while getting some world-class workout gear. Now back to the video. So taking Supplements is a fantastic way of plugging any dietary or nutritional holes that you might have with your diet. Low on protein, use some whey powder. Need some healthy fats, get some fish oils. You get the point. But you can't just take a random assortment of supplements and expect them to do anything for you beyond just draining your wallet. And unfortunately, this seems to be exactly what Simon had Chris doing. Chris was taking branch chain amino acids, glutamine, which is a conditional amino acid, whey protein, omega-3, 6, and 9, and then one more secret thing that we'll talk about in a second. I see a few things wrong here. Simon had Chris taking his branch chain amino acids with his protein shakes, which doesn't really make sense, seeing as whey protein is rich in all the essential amino acids needed to build muscle, including all of those branch chain amino acids that he's taking. Generally, I think branch chain amino acids are a waste of money because if you're eating enough protein, you're getting all the branch chain and all the other essential amino acids that you need. But taking them with your protein shake is kind of a double slap in the face. It's just kind of a waste. Then Simon also had Chris taking omega-3, 6, and 9. But most people have more than enough omega-6 and omega-9. And part of the reason omega-3 supplementation is so important is to balance those levels. So again, a bit of an odd choice. 
That being said, I've got no problem with supplementing with protein shakes to get your protein where it needs to be, as long as you first make the effort to get there from real food. But I have a feeling it wasn't the whey protein that let Chris Evans put on muscle as quickly as he did. No, I think it's pretty obvious that Chris Evans used some performance enhancing drugs to allow him to bulk up and gain 12 pounds of muscle while dropping his body fat by 4.5% in only three months. It's definitely possible to look amazing like Captain America naturally, but keep in mind that it'll simply take you a little bit longer than it took Chris, so be patient. Now here's the program that I designed based off of Chris's training for Captain America. It's a five day a week program where you hit two muscle groups each day and has a mix of strength movements, athletic movements, and bodybuilding movements. Now go watch my video on how Chris's friend Sebastian Stan got ripped to play the Winter Soldier. I'll see you there.